Hi guys, welcome to Sanfolio. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're talking about All Her Remains Amber Oud Gold Edition. Now, we all know the gold brushed metal plates here. Now this is actually a gold edition. A lot of things talked about this guy, heard a lot of good stories. Explain this fragrance through my nose. Let's get into this. All right, first off, the bottle, as we all know, super sweet, sexy, good, heavy stuff here. Um, nice presentation. Overall, lovely juice color here. This is pretty much yellowish, um, the gold edition here. So, well, uh, cap in place. I like the, um, the quality of the, of the atomizer. Just, just look at the quality overall. The build quality is pretty cool though. All right, so I'm just gonna use a strip here. By the way, there's another review of the Amber Oud edition coming up right after this. And that's from the line of um, Amber Oud Emerald. So that's an emerald version. It's, a, it's an extract deeper farm. I want to do that a full day wear, so I don't want to spray this on top of me because I'll be doing that. All right, so let's get into this. Oh, good sprayer here. Okay. <sighs> All right. This is a beautiful scent. It is fruity with a luxury. Let's just put it this way. Simple and up front, right to you guys. Very fruity, nice, oh, excellent. I can pick up on the watermelon here, up on top. I can tell. Amber, vanilla, tonka beans, and some fruits here. Uh, it's not one of those typical cocktail, tropical, fruity scents. This is sweet, fruity. It is sweet, fruity. Ozonic, good stuff. Ambery, fresh, musky, aquatic, powdery vanilla and woody notes here so that's the scent so that's the the scent profile so let's get into the notes here bergamot <sighs> yes okay yep <clears throat> that fresh it has a fresh kick start here right on top of the opening so we got bergamot green notes okay then we've got melon okay okay so it's not a watermelon it's more like a um um, a, what do you call this? Cantaloupe? Yeah. So, and then we've got sweet notes. Okay, so sweet notes is kind of like grape, grapey notes here. We've got pineapple, amber, and then we've got musk, vanilla, and woody notes. Oh, by the way, this is a clone of El Bapura by uh, Suspiro, line of uh, Zerzhov. One of the most expensive clones in the market. There's like a couple of hundred bucks there. This is right on top of that guy, neck to neck. This is good stuff. Again, I would say fruitiness here with a luxury. I don't think I've spilled anything like this before. I don't think I have anything closer to this. Although I have smelled fruity notes and fruity fragrances, but they're more leaning towards a tropical, like tropical, tropical, um, kind of like a beachy vacation mode vibe, those kind of scents. No, but this is luxury. This is luxury. This is fruity luxury. And um, the melon, uh, the sweet notes, the, the grapes, I, I, I get a little bit of green grapes here. Uh, mixed with pineapple, amber, amber and vanilla are the kings here, by the way. Now they are actually kind of like holding the fruity notes from the sides so that they don't go all over the place. So keeping them a bit grounded here. So, um, 
yeah, amber and vanilla are dominating. But then again, we've got some nice fruitiness coming out every now here and then. So that you will go get those whiffs. Yeah. Excellent scent, man. This is good stuff. All her main, I, I know this is cloning. That's what they are doing at this point of time. But again, I think they are also adding twist and turns to this, which I, I think I have repeated this in a couple of videos. Guys, this is good quality stuff. Longevity, longevity is eight to ten hours. This is a glue stick to your skin. It's not going nowhere. And uh, the woody notes at the end of the day, the musky, the vanilla, the the, the woody notes, they are pretty pretty balanced here. Uh, so you will get that ambery vanilla fruity um, accords throughout the day. Again, good siage, one to two feet of projection up until three to four hours. So. It's like breaking the pole fragrance longevity into half it you know which is projects up to up, up into two up until two feet so this is good stuff um yeah um yeah see if you can have your hands on this guy this is the gold edition there are a couple of other flankers out there there's one which is amber oud classic that is a totally different scent it's leaning more towards um this guy here <clears throat> Tom Ford's Tobacco Wani. So don't get that. Otherwise, you will be getting a bit of fused here. Um, then we've got Gold Edition, Gold Extreme Edition. That is, again, a totally different scent. This is the Gold Edition simple. It is listed on Fragrantica. You know, check it out whenever you can. Again, not an expensive scent. This all Amber Oud lineup is ranging somewhere around like 70 to 80 bucks. Some are 60 bucks as well, Canadian. Um, so even more cheaper in the, uh, in the USD. So um, yeah, again, good stuff here. I'm happy. I just wanted to, you know, uh, call this one out to you guys. Um, if that has helped, huh, you know what to do. Just do it. <laughs>